cinematography, mise-en-scene, sound design, and editing are integral elements of filmmaking that contribute to the overall narrative and emotional impact of a movie. Two seemingly unrelated films, being Chicken Run and The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, share surprising similarities in their approach to cinematic elements. While one is an animated comedy about a group of chickens attempting to escape from a farm, and the other is a historical drama set in the backdrop of the Holocaust, both films use techniques to immerse viewers in their respective worlds, elicit emotions, responses, and communicate powerful messages. This video will explore how these two films employ similar styles in cinematography, mise-en-scene, sound design, and editing to create memorable cinematic experiences for the viewers. Now onto cinematography. Quote, Cinematography is writing with images in movement and with sounds, as stated by Robert Bresson. In both Chicken Run and The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, cinematography plays a crucial role in shaping the visual language of the films. Despite the distinct genres and themes of these movies, they share common ground in their use of movements, or, in this case, lack thereof. In Chicken Run, the cinematography is characterized by still, wide establishing shots, with some action shots sprinkled in. The film often employs low angle shots to capture the grand scale of the chicken coop and the menacing presence of Miss Tweedy, the farm's owner. Wide shots are used during action sequences, such as the chicken's elaborate escape plans, providing a sense of space and urgency. They are also used to convey the loneliness and feeling of captivity that a prison provides. Close-ups on the chicken's expressive faces humanize the characters, establishing a connection between the audience and the animated protagonists. Similarly, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas uses cinematography to convey the gravity of its subject matter. The film frequently employs medium shots and close-ups to focus on the characters' facial expressions, emphasizing the emotional toll of the Holocaust on both the prisoners and their captors. Wide shots are constantly used and still remain effective in creating a sense of isolation and despair within the concentration camp. The deliberate use of framing helps convey the stark contrast between the innocence of childhood and the harsh realities of war. Both movies consistently use wide, static shots and heavily rely on the surrounding scene to convey the emotions of the characters and the overall mood of the situation. Now, on to mise-en-scene. Mise-en-scene is everything that appears on the screen, from set design and costumes to lighting and props. Everything is included. Despite the vast differences in setting and tone between Chicken Run and The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, both films utilize mise-en-scene to convey their narratives effectively. In Chicken Run, the mise-en-scene is characterized by a dull and drained visual style with some color splashed in. The chicken coop, designed like a high security prison or even a <clears throat> concentration camp, creates a sense of confinement and oppression. The contrast between the chicken's colorful feathers and the drab industrial setting reinforces the disparity between the oppressed and the oppressors. The chickens also reside in cramped wooden huts, very similar to the wooden huts in the Boy in the Striped Pajamas, and, in turn, the actual wooden huts of Auschwitz. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, on the other hand, employs a more somber mise-en-scene to reflect the gravity of its subject matter. The concentration camp is depicted with meticulous attention to detail, from the barbed wire fences to the stark minimalist barracks. The costumes worn by the characters, particularly the striped pajamas of the prisoners, symbolize the dehumanization and uniformity imposed by the Nazis. The film's use of subdued colors and minimalistic set design creates a haunting atmosphere that contributes to the overall emotional impact. In Chicken Run, the sound design complements the film's comedic and adventurous tone. The use of upbeat and playful musical motifs enhances the humour in various scenes, while sound effects such as the clucking of chickens or the mechanical sounds of farm machinery contribute to the overall atmosphere. The film's soundtrack, composed by Harry Gregerson Williams and John Powell, 
incorporates a mix of orchestral and whimsical elements, adding layers to the narrative and heightening the emotional impact of key moments. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, however, takes a more restrained approach to sound design, reflecting the serious and contemplative nature of the film. The soundtrack, composed by James Horner, is subtle and haunting, with minimalistic piano melodies and orchestral arrangements that amplify the emotional weight of the story. Silence is also used strategically, creating moments of discomfort and tension, particularly during the scenes that depict the horrors of the concentration camp. The careful manipulation of sound in both films demonstrates the filmmaker's understanding of its emotional impact on the audience. Now onto editing. Editing is the invisible art that shapes the rhythm and flow of a film and in Chicken Run and The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, it serves as a crucial storytelling tool. Both films utilize editing to maintain pacing, build suspense, and emphasize key narrative elements. In Chicken Run, the editing is fast-paced and energetic during action sequences, such as the chicken's daring escapes or the confrontations with Miss Tweety. Quick cuts and dynamic transitions contribute to the film's light-hearted and comedic atmosphere. The editing also plays a vital role in conveying the passage of time, especially as the chickens plan and execute their escape, using montage sequences to condense complex actions into concise and engaging storytelling. Conversely, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas employs a more deliberate and contemplative editing style. The pacing is measured, allowing the emotional weight of the narrative to unfold gradually. The use of long takes and slow transitions enhances the film's reflective tone, giving the audience time to absorb the gravity of the character's experiences. The editing is particularly effective in scenes where characters confront the harsh realities of war, creating moments of profound impact and reflection. And finally, the conclusion. In conclusion, Chicken Run and The Boy in the Striped Pajamas may appear worlds apart in terms of genre, setting, and narrative focus, but a closer examination reveals striking similarities in their approach to cinematography, mise-en-scene, sound design, and editing. Despite their differences, both films utilize these cinematic elements to immerse viewers in their respective worlds, elicit emotions, and communicate powerful messages. Whether through the dynamic cinematography of Chicken Run, creating a whimsical and comedic atmosphere, or the somber mise-en-scene and restrained sound design of the boy in the striped pyjamas, conveying the gravity of historical events, these films showcase the versatility and impact of cinematic storytelling. The shared styles in these elements contribute to the success of each film, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and highlighting the universal language of cinema.